Hi guys, welcome to the Catway. So in this video, we are going to solve a set of the day. And before moving ahead, I would request you to like, share, and subscribe. And you can WhatsApp us on 8447-296-249, or you can visit www.catway.in for more info on the CAT course. So let us move towards the question that we have. Uh, it says that the following diagram gives the total number of votes cast in each of the eight constituencies during the recent elections, along with the number of votes secured by the winning candidate in each constituency as a percentage of total number of votes in the respective constituency. Okay, so this is what is the what was the total number of votes cast, and this is the what was the percentage of votes out of the votes cast. Uh, sorry out of the total per votes in the respective constituency okay chalo we have also been given two formulas that is for total votes in the constituency which is the number equal to the number of votes cast in the constituency plus the number of votes in the constituency who voters who did not cast their vote okay so that will be the total number of votes and the voting percentage is given by number of votes cast in a constituency by total votes in the constituency into 100 okay so we can uh, move directly towards the first question which says the winning candidate from which of the given constituencies secured the highest number of votes so guys when we are asked about the secured highest number of votes okay we have been given that how much percentage did each person got each winning candidate got in their own constituencies out of the total number of votes now because the total number of votes are not known to us we cannot find the exact number of votes secured by each of the winning candidates. So the correct answer for first question is going to be cannot be determined. That is option number four. Now let's come to question number two. So it says that if it is known that the winning candidate from Surat received the lowest number of votes among all the win eight winning candidates. Okay. So he has received the total number of votes. When you talk, talk about the absolute value of the votes, he has received the lowest absolute value. Okay. Then the total votes in how many votes in how many of the given constituencies will definitely be definitely be more okay that means we have to be sure sure that this is total votes in this constituency is definitely more than total votes in surat okay so if you talk about surat let's say what is the percentage he has got he has got 30 percent of the votes okay so let's say let's just let's say that there were 100 people in surat there were 100 people in surat so the number of votes he got is going to be 30 votes Okay, number of votes that he got is going to be 30 votes. Okay. Whereas if you talk about Lakshadeep, okay, if you talk about Lakshadeep, so Lakshadeep winning candidate got 22.5% of the votes. Okay, he got 22.5% of the votes. But okay, achha, in this case, he has total number of votes as 100. So Lakshadeep guy got 22.5 as the total percentage of votes. Hana, and this 22.5% of Lakshadeep is going to be when converted into absolute terms has to be greater than these 30 votes. Okay. Now that means if, if the total votes in Lakshadeep were 100 or less than 100, okay, or less than 100, then the to then 22.5% would definitely be less than 30 votes. Okay. That means for 22.5% to be greater than 30 votes, okay, of total 22.5%. Uh, of Lakshadeep has to because it has to be greater than uh, 30 votes. That means the total number of voters will definitely be greater than 100. The similar thing can be used for Ladakh. Why? Because it has lower percentage of votes secured, but in absolute terms, it is more than 30 votes. Okay. So definitely the total number of people will be more in Ladakh. Okay. Same goes for Katak, Hyderabad, and Chennai. Why? Because all of them have lower percentage of votes as compared to Surat, but have more absolute number of votes as compared to Surat. So definitely the denominator will be greater as compared to Surat. And what was the denominator? Denominator was total number of votes. So these five places, Ladakh, Lakshadweep, Katak, Hyderabad, and Chennai, they are definitely going to have more number of voters than Surat. Talking about Arnakulam and Bangalore, because Arnakulam and Bangalore got Ernakulam got 40% of the votes. Okay. So even if there were 100 people, even if there were 100 people, the person would have got more number of votes than the person in Surat. Okay. So it is a possibility that the guy in Ernakulam could have equal or less number of votes than 100. Whereas it is also a possibility that he could have, he could also have more number of voters. Okay. But that is, we cannot say with surety about Ernakulam and Bangalore that we, do they have less number of voters than Surat or more number of voters than Surat? And because the questions asked us that definitely more, 
So definitely more. We have only five places. So the correct answer for this question is going to be five. Okay. Now we can move towards the third question. So what does the third question tell us? Just a second. Yeah. Third question says that what is the maximum possible number of votes secured? Okay. So we are asking about maximum possible number of votes secured by any of the winning candidate if voting percentage in none of the constituency was less than 80%. Okay. Now, what do we have to do? We have to maximize the number of votes secured by the winning candidate. Now, how do you maximize the vote secured by maximize the vote secured by winning candidate by maximizing the total number of votes? Okay. By maximizing the total number of votes. Okay. So if maximum voters will be there, then that percentage of voters will be definitely be greater. Okay. So if you observe, if you observe about Lakshadweep, okay, Ladakh, Katak, and Surat. If you observe Lakshadweep, Ladakh, Katak, and Surat, they have less percentage of votes than Bangalore. Also, they have uh, the numbers of vote casted is also less than Bangalore. Okay, so these four places can never have can, can never have the maximum possible number of votes secured by the winning candidate. Okay, so now we are left with Bangalore, Ernakulam, Hyderabad, and Chennai. Okay, so if you calculate about Ernakulam, so total number of votes casted are two seven two lakh seventy five thousand. Okay, total number of votes casted are 2,75,000. Okay, and voting percentage, we have to, what do we have to do? We have to take the, uh, we have to take the voting percentage as 0 0.8. Okay, so this is, let's say 80% of the people casted their votes. Okay, 80% of the people casted their votes. Okay, so out of the 80% people who casted their votes, he got two, uh, uh, he has secured 2 lakh. 75,000 votes. Uh, sorry, total votes casted are 2,75,000 and this is what 80%, 80% of the total votes. Okay. And out of that, the winning candidate in Ernakulam has got what? 40%. Okay. So with this, by doing this, we get the maximum value. Okay. Maximum value that is the, we get total number of votes. Okay. What could be the maximum total number of votes? Okay. And by multiplying by 0 0.4, what do we get? What was the vote secured by the guy in Arnakulam? So it turns out to be 137,500. Similarly, for Bangalore, if you see, 3,50,000 votes were casted. Okay, 3,50,000 votes were casted. If these were 80% of the total number of votes, okay, so with this equation, we get the total votes. Okay, and out of that, this guy secured 35%. So 35% means 153, 125. If you talk about Hyderabad, the total number of votes casted were 373,75,000. Okay. This was 80%. Okay. This was 80%. And out of that, the guy who won secured 27.5%. So total number of votes casted will be 128,906. Okay. Similarly, if you calculate it for Chennai guy, and uh, 4 lakh votes were, uh, 4 lakhs votes were there. Okay. This was 80% of total number of votes. And out of that, how much did Chennai guy scored? He scored 25% votes. Okay, that means the total votes would be 125 000. Okay, so what is the maximum number of votes that the winning guy could have got? 153, 125. That is option number C. And that guy is from Bangalore. Okay, so hope you have understood the set. It was a fairly easy set, guys. And uh, hope everything is clear. Thanks for watching the video.